just a, a poster sandwich, I call it, and uh, took photos from people. Uh, actually with the same device, we are uh, implementing here Android apps uh, with uh, Samsung devices. And uh, what we did, what I did at the, this conference was, I took the pictures, the photos, and asked the people, okay, what, like, uh, what kind of policy would you like to attach to this photo? We just had uh, three default policies like share it with nobody, share it with participants, or share it with the world. Just as a default set of three uh, predefined policies. These policies were then attached to the photo before we uploaded it to the photo service, which was also implemented by us to have everything under control, by the way. Then the next step, <coughs> this is now this little demonstration here, which is also uh, based on the humor protocol. We call it the point of interest 2.0. What we can do here is we can um, limit, we can restrict the context in which you would like to share your recommendations in the sense of points of interest. <coughs> what that means, I mean currently you share it with everybody with your friends list and so forth, but here you can limit it also for example to the location and you can make it depend on time. So I will show you what that means. So I log in. So first I can post of course uh, this is always like the same little text field. Um, what is it? Google location. Just to have a little recommendation here. So then you can say, okay, it's well, let's say it's, uh, it's four star. Uh, but probably you cannot read it. Uh, below that there is the, uh, the recommendation validity. So what you can do is, for example, if I say, well, this is a cool location here. Uh, it makes sense to everybody who attends the conference, for example. So I, I make it now valid for, I don't know, let's say one week. Um, one week, I just choose it quickly. And then on the next page, I hope it works because it's a GPS based and sometimes GPS signal internal in, in rooms is not that good. Um, okay, <laughs> we have found uh, at level zero, level zero here, uh, depends on the Google API of Google Maps. So at level zero we have the street's name. It's here called Hans Carossa Straße 2, which is not exactly the position here, but just uh, we imagine it is. At level one it is uh, the town of Taschleisheim. So, okay, let's say I would like to limit my recommendation to people in the next week to those who are in Montage which basically means who attend this conference, for example. So I choose level 1, and then go to next, where I can then just, well, this is typical to many recommendation systems, I just choose from my friends list who should be informed. Uh, this could also then be based on the list of participants, but this can also be based on, we have here the chance to um, import so here you can import friends, uh, friends lists uh, from Facebook, for example, that you have already, or from other social networks, just to keep it simple and stupid here at that. Okay, uh, to make it short, now we're going to uh, choose, let's say, Suleiman, he's one of my colleagues, and here it says recommendation saved. And now I go back to the login page. And uh, well, maybe we can shorten this a little bit. You can believe me that if I go to the login page and log in as Suleiman, he will found because I mean it's uh, the same device actually. He will found this recommendation then in his recommendations list. And in the back end, we have then uh, a cloud service uh, in this sense in our cloud infrastructure, uh, which compares. Now, of course, I have to disclose uh, some information to this service. From time to time, I have to say, okay, I'm here and here and here, just to make sense out of these uh, uh, policies, this, these calculations that the service can recognize when I am in the right area, so that's for sure. So, and this means also that we have some privacy indications here on the back end. And this is something we would like to come over with our next development, how we can, rip, can get rid of the back end. And the idea is, I am the app. 
which is basically, um, well, you can imagine like uh, we meet here at the conference and we just exchange contact information, which means that you have or maybe an app store and you download my app and I download your app. And what we share then is, well, the basic contact information maybe. Maybe you can give me some more access to some more profile data, I as well. And the, the advantage for you is you have always up-to-date data because I only change it at one place for everybody who downloads my app. And this is just the starting point, this peer-to-peer -peer thing. I can also imagine of services who download my app. I can imagine intelligent environments that download my app. Automobiles or hotel rooms or whatever. So this, uh, I think this could be the next step. How we can get rid of the basically, or at least for the privacy fundamentalists, untrusted backend. Okay. Yes, that's it actually for the demonstration part.